the first dragonborn versus the last dragonborn at the summit of Apocrypha or whatever it is you and Hermes Mora had planned. Well, that's not what I have planned, okay? Because number one, it, it, number number one, I don't like dungeons, right? Dungeons are kind of boring and crap and we've already done an Apocrypha dungeon video, okay? Number two. Ah! No, I... Uh, <laughs> give me... Give me... A, I, I've still... Uh, there we go. Where are you? Number two, I am Captain Fanny Bones. This is the Laughing Crew, and we do things my way around here. What I like to do is drag people about, yes. The captain has never... Okay, the captain's never... Where are we going? Right, we might be going the wrong way. Listen, if you were expecting some sort of comprehensible introduction to today's plans, you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> don't, don't you worry about it, right? Because here's the idea. Dotted across the four corners of Solstein is the ultimate treasure hunt, the death brand armor. We are going to hit each point. We are going to collect the death brand armor and we're going to have a jolly good time. I understand you see me as your bitter enemy, some sort of imposter, but I'm just the evolution of the dragonborn, aren't I? See, I, I got rid of all that annoying fleshy stuff and all, Robert, no, 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 oh no, oh no, right, the evolution of the dragonborns got stuck. Mirak, gaze your butt. I've, I don't have much of a sense of direction, so trying to walk around the entire circumference of Solstein, I sure won't be, won't, won't be an issue. Don't you agree? No, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to agree. He's trying to hide it, but he's stuck as well. See, Mirak, we actually have a lot in common. We're both dragonborn. We both like to bark orders at our crew. I mean, you like to bend the will of every living being you come across, and I like to shout at Sven. That's basically the same thing. Oh, no, no! Please come down here, Mirak. <laughs> The good news is that you're stuck. The bad news is I can't get to you. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, he's going to come down, see? Hey, we're beginning to play the game. Captain Fanny Bones and Mirak on a glorious treasure hunt. Mwah. You love to see it. Mirak, stop absorbing the souls of the wolves. Don't think you can use the rapids to get away from your captain. No, wait, where did it? No. Come on, none of this dragon aspect is going to save you from the captain. Oh, this is going poorly. Oh, box, where is he? Oh, I've definitely lost them already. This is the umpteenth drag video I've done, and this is easily going the worst that's ever gone. Where the hell is he? Aha! I don't think I didn't see you hiding in the water. I, I definitely saw him. I'm sure I saw him. Where is he? Can Mirak turn invisible? It was very nice of the rest of the crew to join us, but we've we've actually lost Mirak. I have no idea. Out the way, wolf. Move out the way, you stupid wolf. Where the hell did he go? There he's there. Hello, why are we in a permanent fighting stance? Are we okay? Can we can we just put these down? Okay, put we'll put these away and we'll head on our merry way. Mirak, we haven't even started the quest yet. You're being a very bad boy. Me, you and your fists and the rest of the crew are going... Where the hell did... This is not good. Where does he keep going? I may have to start this one again, ladies, gentlemen and gentle friends. Oh, that's a first Mirac. Second attempt. I've never had to do a second attempt before. It, oh, my, oh my god. Mirac, Mirac. Bit of the old dragonborn meditation. Breathe in, breathe out. Come on, Mirak. Here, okay, here we go. Here we go. Slowly but surely, me and you. Hey, we're even going to leave out the right exit this time. We're making wild improvements. I don't know where you think you're going, but it's not that way. Just follow the railings and hopefully you don't fall down backwards. Whoop. Okay, I nearly fell off the edge again. Um, I was about to say this was much better and then I nearly fell off the edge, but this is much better, okay? We're going the right way, perhaps. You're behaving yourself, kind of. You're not teleporting anywhere, which is good. I am concerned about the teleporting, I won't lie to you. No, no, Mirak, I genuinely don't know where you think you're going because you've got no way back. You would need to read some sort of black book to get back to where you're supposed to go. And I don't think you can read. Nothing wrong with not being able to read, by the way. Times are hard and we all take a different path in life. Um, apart from you, you're taking a very particular path in life just now, and it's around the entire circumference of Solstein, uh, if I have anything to say about it. And I, I seem to be having minimal amounts to say about it. Right, come on. Why is dragging by the butt always the best answer? Is it because it's very degrading, Mirak? Is it because the first dragonborn doesn't like being dragged by the arse and he can't believe this is happening? Okay, we'll just look through you. This is maybe the way to go about it. Uh, <laughs> unconventional. Looking through Mirak's bits, whatever's under those robes. A whole lot of nothing. He looked under the captain's robe, you'd see more than a whole lot of nothing, you know, you know what I mean, mate, you know what I mean? <laughs> the, 
Like I'm implying I've got a big willy. I almost went into the waterfall again. We're not doing the waterfall. I promise you will not just look into your gooch the entire journey, right? Just for this, just for this little bit. This bit's very hard to traverse. You see that down there? You, you probably don't see it, okay, but there's a wee camp down there, and I believe that is where we will find the first piece of the death brand armor. Treasure, 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 treasure. He's been stuck in the horrible tentacle dimension all his life. I'm sure he appreciates, no, no. I'm sure you appreciate the opportunity for a bit of adventure. That, that That's all I was going to say. Okay, nod, nod if you agree with... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Excellent. You might consider this a bit of a walk of shame because we are passing all the failed Dragonborn monuments, you know. Or just a reminder that you came so close to doing whatever it is you wanted to do. And then I turned up, didn't I? Yes, but I wouldn't have turned up, to be fair, if you didn't send all your wee diddy pals to attack me in solitude. At the end of last season. This is the end of this season. And what a fitting end it is. Speaking of end, uh, where's our pals? Because we need to put an end to those dirty pirate buggers over there. That unlike us, we, we are lo we're lovely pirates. We're the good kind of pirates. They're, they're the bad kind. They're the kind that give us a bad reputation. So what we're going to do is kill them all and take our stuff. I wonder if you would... Would you be up... Yes, you would be up for it. <laughs> Let's see the first dragon born in action. Get him, Mirak. I should probably do something as well, but if I don't keep my eye on him, he's going to run away. <laughs> and I don't want him to run away, so why don't I just grab you? Right? Well, get out from behind the rock for a start. Come on. Don't be scared. There we go. Yeah, and I'll use you as a, like a turret. A dragonborn turret. I think they might be dead now. Ah, there's a crew. Oh, everybody has guns, by the way. Don't, don't, don't ask why they have guns, okay? For the memes, I suppose. Right, kill that guy. See, they all have guns and I have a gun. My gun just happens to be the first dragonborn. There we go. He's dead. He's not dead. He got knocked over. No. No. Anek, don't shoot. Don't shoot me, that. He's one of us. We did it. Our first engagement, our first combat as a team. You could be part of the team, Mirak. You fit in perfectly well. Hey, uh, okay, okay, let, let's swim along. No, no, no. Uh, uh, Mirak, with all your glowy rubbish, come on. No, no. See, you definitely fit in because you do my nutting, just like the rest of them. Would anybody else be willing to hold him while, while, while I look for whatever it is we're supposed to look for here? Are you going to behave yourself while I look this chest? There she is, the Death Brand Helm. Treasure piece number one of four. We're doing it, we're actually doing it, and it's working, and you haven't teleported in a little while, which is good. On to the next one. Are you much of a swimmer? You do have quite a unique technique, but, you know, <laughs> that's a dragonborn for you, pal. Me and you both, mate, me and you both. I bet you can't breathe underwater, though. We should test that. How are you doing? Because I can breathe underwater because I'm a skeleton, you see. It doesn't... Well, I tell you what, we should... I shouldn't actually be wasting time doing this. <laughs> I should... No! Come on. No, no. What's that noise? Mirak, what's that noise? Oh, it's the Horkers. Right, we don't have time for the Horkers, okay? We have a very big adventure ahead of us. We are one quarter of the way through it, you might say. And um, this is certainly a unique way of doing things. Hey, if it works... Oh, no, no, okay, right, up the mountain we go. <laughs> oh! What are you mad about? Oh, no! Gross! Oh, Captain Scudgel! No, 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 he's gonna get away! He's gonna get away, he's gonna get away! I'm not, I know I'm not helping. Where did he go? Where did he go? Everybody come in. I think I know what's happening here. I abducted Mirak before the before the big final confrontation, okay? He was given all oh, last drag and I just went, Mirak, enough of this, and I just and I just dragged them. Okay, I dragged them back to, to Soul's time. Don't don't ask how I did that. It was all black book magic nonsense. All right, we did that. But I think what he was expecting to happen was we would have a big battle, okay? And in that big battle, he would go through phases, wouldn't he? Yes, he would. He would go through phases. And every time he took a certain amount of damage, he would teleport, right? I think that's what's supposed to happen. So every time he's taking damage, he's teleporting back to Apocrypha. He has found a way. Unlike anybody else, he has found a way to break my grasp and to get away. Where, where are we going? There's werewolves over there. No, 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 we have stuff to do. We, 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 we have to get meat. We have to get meat. You can't just be shooting werewolves. And I think there's a, a T-posing werebear as well. This is going to prove a very difficult challenge. 
I might have finally met my match. You might be able to teleport, but I can save scum. You're moved, dickhead. Okay, it does mean I can't let you get stuck into battles. It's just, it's not going to be worth it. So if they want to fight Horkers, no, 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 no. They want to fight Horkers. They get to fight Horkers. You do not get to fight Horkers. Oh, oh no, no, no. If they want to fight the big squid man, they can fight the big squid man. You don't get to fight the big squid man or we need to take him out very quickly. Is that the lesson you're trying to teach me? Is this about you trying to bestow your lessons upon the last Dragonborn? Are you trying to teach me, the captain, the value of teamwork? Is that, is that what you're saying? It's like, listen, pal, if you just let me do it on my own, I'm just going to bugger off back to Apocrypha. But if the Dragonborns work together, we can we can maybe do this. Well, you know what I say? To, uh, that's a that's a werebear and a werewolf, right? We're we're not doing werebear and werewolf together. I think the werebear just killed the werewolf. Okay, the werebear's on our, our team. Um, oh no 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 no! He's going to try and fight the werebear and the werewolf. <laughs> no, bugger off you. Okay okay, where's Mirak? Is Mirak dead? Did Mirak t No, they he's there, he's just stuck. I'll be honest, I lost my train of thought because there was werebears and werewolves. I believe you were trying to tell the captain about teamwork, but the thing about being the captain is that I make the rules, so you, you don't really get to do that, Mirak. Me telling other people to do the things I don't want to do is kind of part of the job. Shit rolls downhill, that's what they say. Uh, that, that, that's, that, that, that's what they say. I really do hope you can uh, breathe underwater because I think there's a chance that a significant part of our journey around the coast of Soul's time will be underwater. You might think you have it bad having lungs, but I have a fear of the depths of the ocean. So, you know, we're even once again. Hey, equals almost, except I'm the captain, obviously. Oh, oh no, that has to be a better way than this. Oh, I hate it. Oh, oh, where did he go? Come on. None of that gasping for air rubbish. We've got somewhere to be. Well, the good news is um, my unique approach to traversing the Isle of Solstheim seems to have completely broke your pathing, so you're not trying to get away, which is good. I just checked a little map there. We've still got ages to go. <laughs> oh no. Every now and again, I think this will be a laugh and this is a good idea. And it's always a terrible idea. Oh, <laughs> bugger off, Horkers, okay? I'm not interested. Just me and Mirak's butt on a merry adventure. Well, if I just look at Mirak's butt, I don't have to look at the depths of the ocean. That does make everything a little bit more palatable. I do regret using the word palatable while discussing Mirak's butt. Now we can no, no, Sven and Lydia, the people with the guns, get to fight the Horkers, okay? We have places to be. No, no, okay, right, Horkers are done. There's three bloody werebears! Save Mirak! I can't believe I'm saying that, but somebody save Mirak! Look, well, that one's dead. I think Mirak. Oh, he got away! Oh, you stupid, stupid bears! <sighs> Why is Sven fighting a horker? Okay, let's try this again. We're getting them this time! <laughs> Come on! Sven, why are you fighting the horker? Oh, I got you. Oh, <laughs> not this time, buddy old chum. Not this time. Mirak, what's your opinion on mud crabs? Okay, you're obviously not a huge fan of the mud crabs. I like the mud crabs, right? I think mud crabs are kind of cute in their own way. You can do something about this if you want. No? Is everybody cool with this wee guy? Have we got a wee mud crab friend? Yeah, I don't really know what's happening with our wee mud crab friend. He's doing a little dance for us. Okay, he sees the captain, he does a little dance. You should do a little dance. In the last video, I did a little dance. A skooma and just dance, but a dance nonetheless. Oh, no, 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 no. Where do you think you're going, sir? Have you broke my, have you broke my arm? I don't think that's how bones are supposed to stretch. I used to have a little army of Reiklings. They were cute. They were my pals. Um, these ones aren't my... What was that? <laughs> these ones. Uh, these ones aren't my friends. Okay, so I'm going to keep you over here as a turret. All right, and we're just going to... Oh, yeah, shoot. Shoot them, Mirak. Don't shoot a neck. Don't worry about hitting Sven, okay? He'll be fine. Come on, give it a bit of the old... Yeah, there we go. You missed, you idiot. And now we have a handle. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, he didn't like the handle part. Of. Oh, no, but there are more Reiklings, but they might be our friends, because sometimes they're our friends. Uh, well, I mean, they won't be our friends if you just... Okay, I don't think these are our friends. These went right. Shoot them! No, this makes it look like I'm holding you so they can kill you. That's not what I was doing. Ha, ha, ha. The captain has to take charge every now and again. Where did Mirak go? Don't think... Oh. Right, you're not walking away as much. You do seem to be quite confused. Um, but yeah, I'm afraid of this whole teleporting thing. According to the map, we should be very close. Or we've just went past 
the second part. No, it's here. It's there. There it is. Right, we need to... Right, please survive. Oh, no. That's Sven with the shotgun. I know I said I like mud... Oh, he did a crazy spinning attack like he's Blanca. Where's my... You're not the only one with weird powers, Mirak. Look at them. Death brand. Gauntlets. See, Mirak, mate, this is what it's all about. Uh, nope, nope, nope. This is what it's all about. Treasure. Booty. Pillaging. Plundering. Having a laugh with your friends and Sven. <laughs> That's, that's what we do here. Okay, I like Netches. I think they're cute. They make cute noises. Please don't kill the Netches. Nope, 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 nope. Let's not, nope, nope, nope. Let's not spend any more time here than we have to. Let's not annoy the Netches, please. I'm also concerned that they'll beat the shit out of you and you'll disappear again. So I'm going to ask you not to do that. Oh, okay, we did it. We're fine. We're safe. We're good. Hopefully Sven doesn't kill the Netches. Dirty rotten bastard. Ah, there's, okay. There's some posturing boars. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was going to say, do you want know what I say to posturing boars? And I was going to bring my weapon out. And then you got really mad about that. So, how about we just fight the boars? Ah, I was going to say, I think the boars are broken. Why am I down and why is Lydia down? Why are we all down? Why is this going horribly wrong? Mirak, please don't kill everybody. There is something wrong with the boars. He's broken as well. So we've had a broken mud crab, a broken boar, and a broken werebear as well. I'm beginning to worry that dragging you out of Apocrypha before the final conflict has, uh, has made some changes to the world. Mira, come here. Okay, there's three random people hanging around on the shore, dressed in their pyjamas, their dirty pyjamas. Why, why are they just hanging about? Yeah, well, we're the two dragonborns. What, what, what are you lot doing? You're not werebears or anything, are you? They might be werebears. Come on, let's leave in case they're werebears. Are you werebears? Careful. I heard that tone. Careful. I heard, I heard he was threatening us with his werebear powers. That's what he was. Well, I tell you what, I don't want you to teleport to Buggery because I actually haven't saved in a little while. So, we're going to leave the potential werebears alone. Mirak, why do you have your staff out? Stop showing off. Lydia's not impressed with your massive ribbed staff. Ribbed for her pleasure, I'm sure. Mirak, this is your lot. Ah! Don't think I didn't see. Those are your wee cultists. Those are your wee cultists trying to, try, try to save you. I respect a crew that will lunge wildly into danger for their captain. But there'll be less of that. If you don't mind, sir. Or I'll feed you to the drowning boar. Yes, I will. Uh, you just stay where you are, drowning boar. I believe over there in that pine forest is treasure number three. But there is a bit of a... Well, you can't really see it here, okay? But you'll have to take my word for it. There's a bit of a bandit fortress in the way. I'm kind of hoping we can avoid the bandit fortress. Not that clearing out a bandit fortress with you wouldn't be a laugh. But my obvious fear is that you'll disappear. Swear to God, Mirak, if you don't behave yourself, I'll make you disappear permanently. I uh, wonder if we can just avoid. Can we, maybe, the, maybe they're chill. Maybe they're chill bandits. I mean, if they were smart bandits, they would take a look at the two dragonborns and they would turn tail and run. They would take a look at the laughing crew and they would turn tail and run. But I've never known bandits to be particularly smart about these things. Maybe if we just go underwater. Okay. Go underwater. The, and go under water we can just avoid the whole mess how does that sound that sounds good to me <laughs> spectacular swimming technique ah ah see right no 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 he's gonna do he's gonna run away no 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 no, no. Uh, okay well he, he didn't run away i appreciate you sticking it out while having an arrow stuck to your face. You might make a crewman yet. There be treasure. At least it would be treasure if he would go out the way. Treasure indeed. The, the, the armor. <laughs> this is getting a bit unwieldy, isn't it? But we've got the helm, we've got the gauntlets, and now we have the death brand armor. It's quite shiny. It looks like it's from space, but it's quite it's quite shiny. Do you like it, Annette? She likes it. But Annette, right, Annette is always smiling. Even when I'm invading her personal space with death brand armor and the first dragonborn, she still has a smile on her. What, what a woman. Darkethus is always cowering behind trees. Lydia, watching over the treasure. Ever vigilant, so she is. And Sven is cowering somewhere naked, I suspect. Where is Sven? There he is, cowering naked. Hey, oi, oi. Let's not, let's not. As soon as I mentioned naked Sven, you were on your way there, weren't you? You into a bit of the old naked Sven? Listen, you're not the only one. I've seen the YouTube comments. Don't think I haven't noticed some of you. You filthy, thirsty buggers, so yeah. There are some people that don't like naked Sven and constantly beg me to give him clothes, but their complaints only make me more powerful. Three down, one to go to tell Mithrin. It's the big mushroom place. We have to walk to the big mushroom place. No, 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 no. What a lovely sunset. 
me that. Quite a lovely. You haven't half picked a lovely place to sort of mind control and make your own. Ow! <laughs> it's a shame it's full of buggers. Where did me that go? Oh, hello. Ah, see, he's a bit more into it now. He's a bit more, a bit more enthusiastic about the whole Captain Fanny Bones laughing crew treasure adventure. Hey, we're beginning to see the benefits of just throwing it all in the bin and having a laugh. World domination, worship, all that rubbish. Rubbish is boring. I'll never understand people that want to control everything. That's a lot of admin work. Forcing your will upon others, bending other people's will to your own. It's just a, it's a bit dickish, isn't it? Uh, just a little bit. There's nothing wrong with barking orders at people who are in your crew. That's different. They signed up to that. Um, why have you got your staff out? No, we're leaving the netches alone. There's supposed to be a baby netch there. If you know, you know. Where'd the tea go? <laughs> Mira, you're miles away. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Come on. I don't know where everyone else are. They're slowly. They're RP walking. They're RP walking behind us. And we're RP walking in front of them, kind of. I'm playing the role of a skeleton captain, and you're playing the role of a degraded idiot. A degraded idiot loser who could be my friend. <laughs> I'm very nice. Listen, I treat my friends with respect. I treat my friend. Come on, come on, you. No, I'm I'm explaining how how well I treat my friends with respect and honour. It was one thing the captain's known for. It's how good a friend they can be. Uh, wait, where's the thing? Right, we need to get this last bit of treasure. I've accidentally walked backwards into the log, but that would be a good place. If, if I was going to hide treasure, I would hide treasure in a log. Although that's a very obvious place to hide treasure. But all the other treasure has just kind of been hidden out in the open, so maybe it would be slightly better. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Give me that butt. I know things, hidden things, things no, you shut up. supposed to fly, well, then listen to me. Listen to me. No. I'm busy. You're ah, mine. <laughs> That goes for the rest of you. You can't just interrupt somebody, run up to them, and start rambling nonsense at them, and then wildly attack them for no reason. Who does that? Who, who, who does that sort of thing? Mirak, oi, come here. Oi, you need to be a nutter. Mirak, oh, come on, mate. The sun is set. Look at that. That is actually right. Out, out the way. Your big glowy spikes are ruining the view. Look at that. Big, beautiful pink sunset. You don't see that every day. I mean, where did Mirak go? Uh, 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 okay, Mirak's not an appreciator of the pink sunsets. The point I'm trying to make, Mirak, is we're nearly at the end of our journey. It's around here somewhere, I believe. <laughs> is that the problem? Do you not want our journey to end? Mirak, our journey doesn't have to end. This could be your life. You could... No, don't back away from that statement. <laughs> You know, you and me, the two dragonborns, we'd be unstoppable, except this time, unlike your proposal, I'd be the captain. Okay, so it'd be the two dragonborns, but I'm the captain. Well, there's three Ash Guardians guarding a treasure chest. This might be the place. Come on. One last time, Mirak, you and me. Jesus, what the hell did that? <laughs> uh, 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 okay, I'm, I'm stuck in the rocks. I hope everybody's doing well. And there they are. The final piece of the puzzle. The final treasure. A bit of the old death brand boots. The time for talking is long past. I'll be the judge of that. And listen, it's not long past, actually, because I have some news. There was, there was a key to a burrow along with the treasure. So guess what? Our journey isn't over yet, no. No, no, by a long shot. We're going to go to this burrow. I can't remember what it's called. It's a barrow. It's not a burrow. Rabbits don't live in it. Either way, Mirak, it's an opportunity for more treasure. It's an opportunity for us to spend a little bit more time together. So let's go. The barrel is this way, Mirak. We're nearly there. We cross this little bit. This little bit of water. Yeah, this little bit of water. There we go. And it's on this wee island somewhere. And then perhaps... The ultimate treasure. What do you think the ultimate treasure is, Mirak? Is it friendship? Is it is is it is it French? Is it is it friendship? Is it freedom? It's not freedom, by I can assure you, it's not that. No, oh, we upturned ship. We're not the first people here. We might be the first people. Oi, oi, oi. We might, however, be the first people here with a key. Right, there's horkers. We're leaving the horkers alone. That's a big horker. That's a big horker. He's, he's guarding a big chest, though, isn't it? He's guarding a bit. Of, okay, just give me a wee second. Okay, well, I embarrassed myself by missing wildly, so we're just going to go and find this barrel and find the true ultimate treasure. Ignore the horse. Um, 
So I guess we just, I guess we just uh, slaughter all the horkers now. In the butt. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Sven, you're in absolute danger with that shotgun. That's how it's done. Mirak! Mate, that's minging. That's bogging, that's howling. Don't don't be doing that, okay? If you're gonna be in the crew, you can't just be having big inky tentacles everywhere. Bone mold armor and 115 gold. Okay, so we slaughtered an entire family for basically nothing. You can't get away from me, Mirak. You glow in the dark. This is the sign of a true pirate. Pulsating, throbbing at the thought of loot and treasure. Let's go see what the barrel has for us. Nobody else seems to have joined us. I guess this is the initiation here. The crew want to see if you can hack it on your own. Oh no, wait, no. <laughs> here they are. Mira, out, out, out the way. Everybody move. I'm confused. There has to be something in here, okay? Look for a switch or something. You know what I'll tell you, Mira? You getting all those idiots to do all this sort of thing for you. It was maybe not a terrible idea. Ah! 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 I, I think I hit Sven, but that's own, Sven's own stupid fault. It's okay, Mirak. It's not like my arm's absolutely killing me from holding onto your face for the entire journey. We did it. Okay. Okay. Time for talking is long past. For once, I agree. <laughs> the treasure? I told you it was worth it, pal. Look at all this treasure. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're rich. Look at, look at all the gems and all the money. That's not money. D and the big beefy weapons. We have hit the jackpot. Mirak. Why am I inside Mirak? I'm very happy about the treasure. I'm not that happy about it, pal. <laughs> look at all this treasure. You know, something tells me I should just take the treasure and leave and not open this door. But we're pirates and what are pirates? Pirates are explorers. Explorers looking for treasure and we did find it, but I do kind of, I, I kind of want to know. Okay, whatever. No, 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 no. Don't know where you think you're going. It's not that way. It's this way. <sighs> Please don't disappear on us, Mirak. This is what I call a boss room. Okay, Mirak, this is what we call in the trade a boss room. Please don't disappear on me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I'm not feeling fantastic about it either, but we're here now and there's maybe even more treasure. Funny thing is, I'm genuinely not really sure why we're here. We got all the Death Brand stuff, I don't really know. There's a big... Ooh, is it for that big beautiful sword, perhaps? Where, where did Mirak go? No, 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 don't run away for the skeleton. This is another pirate skeleton. Hack near Death Brand, they call him. Another pirate... I don't think he was a pirate skeleton. I think he was a pirate that eventually turned into a skeleton. No, no, stop... Mirak, look at my lovely new blade. Oh my, that's that's a very pirate blade pirate thing, isn't it? This is a pirate sword, Nick. This is a very nice pirate sword. We can't leave, and there's blue flames, okay, and then there's a baddie. Time to test the new blood scythe sword, I suppose. Ah! Whoa! We are not routed, Sven, don't be a coward. Ah! Ow! Ow! And then don't shoot me immediately. Double dragon aspect. How'd you like them apples? I think I just smashed my phone. Where did they go? Oh, there's loads of them. No, Mirak, pay attention, pal. I'm just going to have to trust Mirak not to run away. We can't beat these while I'm grabbing them. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. He's back. He's back and he's got more pals. What have I got in my hand? Why am I conjuring a wolf? I'm not conjuring a wolf anymore. Oh. Oh. God, this guy's crew's massive. No, no, defend me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he's T-posing. Oh, no. Okay, that's not good. Um, we might have a slight problem. Oh! Well, we might have solved a slight problem. Oh, I think we did it! Oh, I think we did it! I think we did it! And Mirak's still here! I didn't even... Mwah. I didn't even have to do anything. That, that, that was first try. Mirak didn't leave. We were under constant threat against a rival crew, and we worked together. The laughing crew triumphs over the Death Brand crew, or whatever they were called, the Death Brand Massive.
What do you say about the old death brand armor? Eh? Eh? You with the chest out, you with the legs out, you... You flashing your gooch at everybody? What do you say about the death brand armor? Eh? Looks absolutely cracking on the neck, so it does. She looks fantastic. Look at the big horns, a big shiny, a shining set of armor for a shining personality. Enjoy your furry hat. Are you taking notes, pal? Cataloging the treasure, soul rend, and death scythe or some 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 blood scythe or something like that. I don't know. It's good stuff though. Do you want do you want one as a reward? No, you're not getting one. Do you want to know why? Because that wasn't the real treasure. The real treasure was friendship. Yet friendship and a cracking set of armor. It is what is what the real treasure was. And with that, Solstein has been plundered. Yes, it has. So let's head back to Skyrim for season three. You know, I should have known this was going to happen. Okay, I should have known that the second we arrived in civilization, it was all going to... Lydia, are you, are you okay, pal? It was all going to go horribly wrong. Okay. The message was supposed to be about friendship. That was, that was the thing, everybody. It was... The real treasure along the way was friendship and adventure and actual tangible treasure. Um, catch you all in season three, everybody. <laughs> oh, for God's sake.